You having fun today, Cass? Yes. What do you like about fishing? <clears throat> That's not a tough question for Cassie Guy. She's just a typical kid, just like all the others at this Camp Rainbow fishing yeah. tournament. The only difference? These kids have, or have had, cancer. It's good to see her being a kid. Yes, it is. It's heartbreaking, all the stuff that they have to go through and their whole childhood kind of, you know, taken away from them for a long period of time. And that was good for them to get out and have fun. We're at Roosevelt State Park, which is a wonderful state park. In fact, several years ago, we held Camp Rainbow at Roosevelt State Park, and it was, it was wonderful. We loved being here. We started a few years ago coming out here to let the kids fish. They don't get to fish at the camp facility we use now. We just have more fun fishing out here, and we cook lunch for the kids. And then after lunch, the state park opens up the water slide. It's so rewarding to see them out here. Some of them have never been fishing, and uh, uh, they've been through a lot, and um, just to give them a day of pleasure, fun, where it's safe, see the parents come out. A few days ago, our department, the Mississippi Department of Wildlife Fishers and Parks, the biologists came in, and they put this net around this area here, and uh, then we raised fish at the Meridian Fish Hatchery. We brought them out here in a big truck that's got a chute on it, and we backed down over there, and we dumped those fish out in the lake, and we didn't feed them for a couple of days, so now they're ready for these children. We really try to take care of all the kids. We make sure that every child here catches a fish, has that great experience. I caught five fish already. Yeah, I plan on catching some more, take home, catch fish for days. Were you a, 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 a fisher, fisherman, fisher person before you came out here today? Or you... Yes, I come every year. She's doing good in school. She's an APAC student, uh, and she loves it, and she loves going to Camp Rainbow. Uh, the first year that she was supposed to go was when she start, turned six years old and I had to kind of encourage her to go because she never had really been away from us since going through all the illness. Uh, but once she got there the first year, she really enjoyed it and now I can't keep her from there. She's looking forward to being a counselor. That's what she, uh, her goal is. She said when she turns 18, she would like to be a counselor and still you know, give back uh, to, the, to the camp for what she's gotten all the years that she's been there. And that's not an uncommon desire among former campers. Attorney Dan Kitchens is a counselor, as is Ronald Kraft, who first went to camp when he was just six years old. When I was a camper, I enjoyed the counselors spending time with us, like being taken out of their work schedule to be with us. So I said, if someone did that for me, I know I should do it for the younger kids. And I imagine you get a lot out of being around them, too. Oh, yes, a whole lot. What's up? <laughs> did you like that? Last year was the first time she got to do anything after going through her chemo so she went to Camp Rainbow no hair just had the best time in the world he gave us a much needed break for two days or three days after going through what we went through at Batson for that length of time and this year she got to go back out of treatment had hair and then she got to talk with and help these other kids who were going through what she went through a year before and it's just a good learning experience for her and just getting to be a kid again after enduring you know four sessions of chemo it was tough on her and just letting her be herself. Camp Rainbow was the most amazing camp that I found that helped him be a normal normal kid going through unnormal circumstances and um, a place to let him be a kid and be accepted by others. I'm sharing the same experience because like at school I can't talk to the kids about cancer because they don't understand but at camp we all know what's exactly what's going on with each other so we can have more in common. And that means a lot. Yes, me a whole lot. Reporting for Newsocracy, I'm Jim Albright.